Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn to work with arrays. Subscribe my channel for the tutorials on C++ programming. What is an array? An array is a variable that can store multiple values of the same type. Instead of declaring individual variables, such as number 0, number 1, and so on, you declare one array variable such as numbers and use numbers, 0, numbers, 1, and so on to represent individual variables. A specific element in an array is accessed by an index. Why do we need arrays? Arrays are very important in any programming language. They provide a more convenient way of storing variables or a collection of data of a similar data type together instead of storing them separately. Each value of the array will be accessed separately. Array declaration in C++ involves stating the type as well as the number of elements to be stored by the array. The type is the type of elements to be stored in the array, and it must be a valid C++ data type. The array name is the name to be assigned to the array. The array size is the number of elements to be stored in the array. It must be an integer and greater than zero. This is called a single dimension array. In this example int is the type of element to be stored. x is the name of the array and 10 is the size of the array. Array initialization is the process of assigning elements to an array. The initialization can be done in a single statement or one by one. The first element in an array is stored at index 0, while the last element is stored at index n minus 1, where n is the total number of elements in the array. The number of values between braces cannot be larger than the number of elements that we declare for the array between square brackets. If you don't state the number of elements to be stored in the array within the square brackets, the array will only be large enough to hold the elements added within the curly brackets. The above statement will create exactly the same array as the previous one. You can also assign one element to an array using its index. This statement assigns element number fifth in the array a value of 30.0. Array with fourth index will be the fifth element. This is the pictorial representation of the array. If an array has a size n but we store less than n number of elements. Like in this example the array x has a size of 10. However, we have initialized it with only 5 elements. In such cases, the compiler assigns random values to the remaining places. An element is accessed by indexing the array name. This is done by placing the index of the element within square brackets after the name of the array. This statement will take 10th element from the array and assign the value to a variable. The array index out of bounds error is a special case of the buffer overflow error. It occurs when the index used to address array items exceeds the allowed value. It's the area outside the array bounds which is being addressed, that's why this situation is considered a case of undefined behavior. For example, if we declare an array of size 5, then the array will contain elements from index 0 to 4. However, if we try to access the element at index 5 or more than 5, it will result in undefined behavior. These are some example statements to change, store and insert elements in an array. In today's tutorial, we only discussed one dimensional array. In the next tutorial, we will discuss two dimensional array. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe the channel.